Okay, everybody. Um, I was recommended to do a little short how-to video about different features on a Moto X, so I'm going to show everybody how to do this cool feature called NFC, and I hope you can see me because, like, I can't really tell what the camera is right now. Um, but this is what you do. This is your phone, of course. This is the home screen. And you go right here where it says that little thingy, I forgot what do you call it. It's like a little thing. It has like a a little icon of uh, some kind of figure and it has like uh, three squares or something, like three squares on the bottom and two at the top. You click that and then you should see settings on the top right corner. Click settings and then you see where settings is and it says wireless and networks. Under that is something that says more. Click that. And then click NFC. Yeah, I clicked the NFC. Originally, I thought you needed an app to be able to use this, but you actually don't. And the cool thing about it is you can send like anything. So like if you're like with a friend or something, and let's say you, uh, maybe it's a family member, you went on some kind of family function, maybe they didn't come, and you wanted to show them the picture. Instead of waiting till you get home to be able to send it to them, you can send it to them right then and there. Now, I'm not sure if this works without Wi-Fi, so I'm going to try to use it without Wi-Fi, for instance. I'm going to try to use it with and without. First, let me do it with it. So, let's say, for example, I want to send a picture. You can send a lot of things. You can send pictures. You can send web pages. You can send YouTube videos. At least that's what I've tried. Um, so, let me change the brightness because, see, it's kind of low. Okay. So, let's say you want to use a picture. Okay, so here's a picture, and make sure the other device is enabled for NFC too. And it's the same thing on at least every device that I've seen is under wireless networks. And you go to NFC and you check the NFC. And what you do is I'm not sure how you I'm not I haven't used it without doing it in this method, but make sure the media that you want to send is on the screen that you want to send it on on the phone and the screen that you want to send it on, and make sure the other screen is clear. At least that's how I send it. Like I said. And so, next thing you will do is you will take the two devices and you will put them um, with back facing back. I guess that's the best way I can explain it, like this. And then you will get a screen like here, like that, and it will say touch the beam. So you just press that. And then it will send it to the other device. As you see at the top, it's like downloading it. It says incoming beam. And it might take a minute. And like I said, I'm going to try to do this without Wi-Fi because I'm not sure if it sends it like via like a Bluetooth or whatever because it's kind of under the Bluetooth settings or you need like a wireless network. And so the beam is complete. And you can open any kind of gallery uh, app to be able to see the picture. And there you go. I'm sorry if this one is not perfectly done because I'm tired of putting this thing on the tripod because I noticed in the original video I didn't send the file using NFC without Wi-Fi on so dang okay so let me try this again so I already showed you how to enable NFC and Bluetooth so once that's enabled go to your gallery I use quick pick because it seems like it works better with pictures and stuff and doing everything else so let me go to a file. Let me and my best friend to put one. Okay. So you go to the pic. Once it's open, you grab your other device. Make sure it stayed open. Okay. And here it is, right here. Let me take this off the screen. Okay. So, and all you do is. Take both of the devices. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. You take both of the devices. You put them, let's see, back to back like this. Okay, and this says touch the beam. Then you touch it, and it will beam to the other device. And see it says incoming beam. Oh, and it's complete. And just open up any gallery file. 
And there it is. You saw I beamed that I had no internet connection here. And this is on airplane mode, not in here. All right. Okay, I'm going to show everybody how to send web pages via NFC. Um, this is a different day, so I didn't just change my outfit just to um, do this video. But I already bring up a web page on my Moto X, as you can see. And you make sure that you have, I have Wi-Fi enabled because obviously that's the only way I can get to the web page or whatever. But make sure you have Bluetooth and NFC enabled, which I do on both devices. And you do that by going to, I'm not really explaining it in the first video. But I hate how this thing turns off NFC sometimes randomly. I promise you, like everything you find, and then when I start recording videos, stuff messes up for some strange reason. Um, Lord, here we go again. I swear. Okay, I have to re-enable Bluetooth. Uh, I swear it kills me sometimes. Okay. Is enabled. I'm sorry about that. I swear this thing does it all the time. Anyway, so the web page is rung up. Bluetooth and NFC is enabled on both devices. And all you have to simply do is to touch the backs of both phones. I mean, both devices. Both devices that have NFC and Bluetooth enabled, just like this. And then this screen will pop up and say touch the beam. You touch it. And then the web page will be sent to the other device, just like that. And I use this via Chrome. I haven't used it via uh, the other internet browser, the regular one. It just says internet, whatever. I haven't used that, whatever. But as far as I know, you can send it via any browser because um, it's a web page in general. Um... Okay, I hope you can see this because I had to record this again because I just realized that you can't really see it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to send files via Wi-Fi Direct. And so you know you click on the top right corner. I don't know what that thing is, but that icon, you click Wi-Fi. Um, as you see, there's no Wi-Fi internet connection connected at all. And it's on airplane mode, just to verify that. Um, you click right here, you see these three vertical squares, and you click Wi-Fi Direct. Right now I have this thing uh, connected to my Nexus 7, so I'm going to disconnect it. And I hope it disconnects because for some strange reason, good. Okay, so I guess that's the easiest way to disconnect it. Um, go to Wi-Fi here. Uh, Wi-Fi direct on the, this other device. Okay. Um, before I tell you that, there's also a way where you can change the name of your, um, your Moto X or whatever for Wi-Fi Direct because originally it'll be named like X1 something. And so you go, you press those three vertical, um, those three vertical squares and you click configure device. At the top it'll say rename device and so you can rename it whatever you want to name. I name mine Dave's Moto X, so my name is David and my nickname is Dave. So you do that and so... On the other device, it'll pop up as Dave's Moto X. I renamed my Nexus 7 as Dave's Nexus 7 so I can know that's what it is. Because I don't know what it was named before. It was named something else. But I know on the Nexus 7, I don't know about any other device. On the top, it'll say rename device. And that's how you rename it. And you just press OK. And then it'll rename it to whatever it is. And that's what it'll show up on the other device. And so anyway, so now uh, what I have to do is I make my Moto X visible to the other device so I can be able to pair it so I click that and it's going to say something like create select or create a new group or whatever I just press ok because I mean it doesn't really matter what the name of the group is or whatever and all you have to do is pretty much just make it visible or whatever to the to, to, to other devices or whatever so anyway under peer devices where the name of the other device is going to pop up you click the other device and it should invite it and it should connect it instantly. And um, what I use to send files, I'm going to show you how to send a music file because I showed you before how to send a picture via NFC. And this is how you can send a file without an internet connection via Wi-Fi Direct. And if I didn't say it before, Wi-Fi Direct is pretty much like Bluetooth but without Bluetooth but with Wi-Fi. And you don't need an internet connection. You just need two devices that 
have Wi-Fi and have the feature Wi-Fi direct, which pretty much every current device uh, has it. So you download a file explorer. I downloaded file ES file explorer. You click that, and hopefully this thing sends this time. I'm gonna send a different file because sometimes when I send the same file, it acts stupid. So I'm going to go to Janelle Monet's Cold War. So originally, first let me show you originally what will pop up. Not favorite. Let me go to library, local. I think it'll say something like zero. Yeah. This originally what will pop up, the screen will pop up once you uh, click on ES File Explorer. My file, so you go to wherever you want to go to, whatever folder, wherever it's located, whatever. Mine is under Amazon MP3. And I go to the file and you click and hold it. And then a check mark will pop up to let you know that you selected it. You can send multiple files too, but just for this video, I'm showing you how to send one. You go down to where it says more, you click that, and you go to where it says send. Hopefully this thing uh, discovered it. Thank you, God. And it'll pop up with its own personal uh, URL for the device. And you see it says Nexus 7 to let you know that I'm sending it to the Nexus 7. So you check where in that little space right there and you click send. And it's sending it right now to the device. But when you first do it, it'll say, I don't know why you can't see the screen. It say transferring. You see it's a 6.43 megabyte file. So now what you need to do on the other device is to go to... Let me see if you can see this. ES File Explorer, click on it. And then it invited it, so it sent this to the other screen on the same app, ES File Explorer. And to confirm to be able to transfer the file, you press OK. And I'm going to hurry up and press OK because I promise you, as soon as I press OK, it's going to send this thing in like two seconds. So you press OK and it'll start to send it. Um, I forgot to say something else. Um, before it sends it, it'll ask you where do you want the file to go I think I accidentally messed it up well, let me do it again because I had already selected where I wanted it to go so let me go to send again check it send okay and then it'll pop up to the screen it'll say confirm and let me go back because this is what will pop up and it'll ask you where do you want the file to go so you select whatever folder you wanted to go under I wanted to go under music so you click music and it'll say empty folder, there's nothing in there, and you press OK. And hopefully both of these screens are up, because I promise you it's going to send within like a couple of seconds. Ugh. Okay, I started to transfer it, and it sent it within seconds. And you see there is no Wi-Fi connection here, and I showed you how I have forgotten my network. And it sent it within like two seconds. And just to clarify, it is on here. I'm going to open up Double Twist. And there's the song. And so that's how you send files via Wi-Fi Direct without having any internet connection. So if you want to send videos to a friend, pictures, uh, music, whatever it is, you can send it with Wi-Fi Direct in a file explorer manager like ES File Explorer. So I don't know, maybe you went on vacation, you want to send somebody some pictures, multiple pictures, or... Maybe you were talking about a song instead of talking about it, you want someone to actually hear it to get their opinion on it or a video or something like that. And you're maybe you're in a basement and you don't have Wi-Fi or you don't have an internet connection. You don't, uh, or you don't have you know Wi-Fi. Whatever it may be, this is how you can send files with a feature on your phone that Moto X's obviously have or whatever, and other devices that have Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi Direct or whatever without an internet connection. So. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ask me and comment under the video, and I promise to uh, respond as soon as possible. So, yeah, hopefully everybody had a great New Year's Eve, and they have a great New Year. So, bye. Okay, I'm going to show you how to send a, a YouTube video via NFC. It's the same way as I did with the pictures. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled from the Bluetooth settings. is enabled. And also, and that's the same thing for the other device that you're trying to send it to. Go to settings, go under wireless and networks, and make sure NFC is checked. Then you go to the YouTube app. Let's see if I have it on my home screen. It's under Google. Google's folder. Click on YouTube. Of course, you have to have a, a connection. I mean, you can't stream a YouTube video without internet. So, whether it's on cellular network or Wi-Fi, um, since my friend has this, he just favored this. I can 
send it. So this is a Harry Potter video. It's loading. Uh, okay. Oh, good. No commercial. Okay, stop. Okay, so um, I wonder can I do it while it's played? Okay, so all you have to do is to put both of the devices back to back. As you can see, then it'll... Let me try it again. You can see it better. Okay. It's playing, right? Put both devices back to back, and then it'll say touch the beam. And you beam it. Touch it to beam it. And then it'll appear on her other device. Unfortunately, this one want to be stupid and want to put an ad. So, let me skip it. As you can see, that's the same Harry Potter video. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It would randomly pop up the ad. Oh my god, this Wi Fi is taking like all day. I don't know why I was doing that today. Uh, there we go.